Well, instead of a snow day, teenagers in Miranda had a water day, I guess, if you will. A major water leak left their school without water. North Coast News' Symphony Sherman spent the day working to figure out what happened. So, Symphony, what does this mean for students? So, Scott, a pipe located on the high school's campus burst, and unfortunately, it's the main water supply for most of the town, which means until it's fixed, schools cancel. This is South Fork High School in Miranda. It's empty, and so is the middle school. They're on their way to school and had to abort and return back home with a lot of notifications uh, to the parents so they wouldn't be left alongside the road somewhere. This is the reason. You can see where it's flooded the track and the football field. Bob Harris sits on the board of the Miranda Community Services District. He says, unfortunately, this is becoming a common occurrence. We've got an old system with old uh, pipes, and so uh, we do have this issue that happens more often than we like. This pipe feeds the north and south parts of town, but the community services district was able to get the water back on for the majority of its residents. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case for the schools. Because of the health issues, they can't flush toilets, obviously, and uh, there's no drinking water, so that affects everybody, and so mm -hmm. it's an idea of just closing down the school. And now, crews are hard at work. They're pumping the water out, and they're hand digging around the pipe so they can get a, uh, in a position where they can wrap it or repair the pipe. The hope? By the end of the day, uh, it will have water again. I asked the Miranda Community Service District if this was going to be a big expense. They told me it's going to cost thousands of dollars and it's the district's responsibility to fund it. Live in the newsroom, Symphony Sherman, North Coast News.